Shalom. And it is time uh, for the dove of love to transform and sit on our shoulders. And as he does that, it's time to light a candle for love. For love will take us far above and beyond any place the dove of love used to take us. So we need to mount up on eagle's wings and then soar to where only brave hearts would dare to go. And as we go forth in the name of love, prayerfulness and good tidings may be yours on our journey towards the paradise that is already within every single loving heart. Earth and heaven meet within the confines of prayer, for there is no distance, nor is there no time concerning that which is perfect. Perfect love crying out for the Creator to send the dove of love to be the most regal eagle to sit upon our shoulder in this time of the end to bring us to a place of better understanding where we can be shown to be the most regal eagle of the eons favorite uh, majestic people a peculiar people are we a royal priesthood and so in this hour i i thank you for coming and so it's time to hoist the flag of unity. And I am really, really sorry about one thing, aside from the fact that I've done everything in vain and no one listens to my channel, really. Uh, no one will like my channel because they like this world that has been one of Babylon, one of confusion and twisted religion. Now that the covenant has covened that would straighten everything out, people are sitting on this lid tighter than a fart in a jar. And I'm really sorry. I, I don't want to be a prophet that all the world skeptics will mock as they call me a heretic and a blasphemer when actually the truth is reversed because twisted religion has made a home on earth where people have made their false god into the image of themselves being a respecter of men having conditional love and not being the lord god of the bible who declares i am the lord god of all mankind that god does not exist in this world and i am elijah one who holds the scepter of all authority and so in this hour i don't want to be elevated by anyone because I don't want to rule over anyone, even though all truth has finally been restored unto mankind through my pen. I am the writer of the flying scroll, the writer of the everlasting gospel, which must go again to all people, to all tribes, to all nations. But people are totally unobedient, disobedient, and will not embrace nothing sent to them from the Holy Spirit. So instead of life, they are choosing death from the ignorance and the depths thereof. Instead of rejoicing, they would prefer sadness. Instead of jubilee, they would have sorrow and pain and death mounting. Uh, and instead of becoming just another religious figure in a messed up world that mankind exalts way too much, uh, I am the announcer that there is no good man, never has been, never will be. Romans 3.10, so the just will live by my damn faith, because uh, my faith will point to the kingdom age to arising. I only want to help all people, uh, whether they are Jew or Gentile, black, red, or yellow, or white, for all are precious in the Lord's sight. And verily, verily, I say unto you, there has never been any difference between anyone. And that, regardless of what people do or do not believe, uh, and uh, there are far more commonalities of love within us who were made fearfully and wonderfully created in the image of our love of the ages. And instead of becoming some dictator ruling over everyone, I just want to be everyone's friend through Christ's love alone that I'd like to reflect upon for those of all religions or none, for it is insane to fear love whom the Lord is. It
It is the utter highest heights of insanity gone chaotic and back. Uh, so it's never been about what anyone has ever done for our good Lord that is important, lest any man boast or any woman boast, but it is instead what he has done for all of us. Uh, before the foundation of the earth was he slain for all people. And so in this hour of love's greatest love being shown, it's the hour of Amos 7 manifesting, our Lord revealing that he alone is the sower of the seed of love who has now overtaken his reaper. So let the Holy Spirit come and sit on your shoulder like the dove of love, like a parrot, to whisper the sweet nothings of the Spirit into your ear. Um, and because it's very clear by history that religious leaders are generally treated as if they were gods, never do I want to be treated as such. I'm just a recovered alcoholic from Windsor, Ontario, from the north, a writer who was given open-eyed visions, a writer chosen by the Lord through prophecy. I've known my identity for 30 years. And so I'm no one special. Uh, I, I am the one foreseen in Zechariah 3 as one standing with Barth all over himself between uh, uh, him and the good Lord and Satan who had to approve of me in the days before his removal. And know that God loves everyone the same, and this is my message. And it matters not who they are, because he's never been a respecter of people. Likewise, James, the brother of our Lord, also stressed that if anyone dares to become a respecter of men, they are doing a great sin. So Christianity had to uh, adopt a God who is a sinner God, a God who respects only them, loves only the Christians because they believe he's loved. And all not believing he is loved, he must hate evermore for eternity. So I would like to help all those stupids who are stuck in a, a twisted religion that has turned the true God into a false one. And I would like to help those who are hungry, mentally ill, and outcasts, people such as myself who have been looked down upon by many religious people. I have approached people of all religions and none receives me. I have done everything in vain. Uh, Isaiah 49, 4 was always of me and never of the Lord. So all people of love, to all of them, I want to help out all of you. For all human beings on this planet, I want to help all of them who are tired of hatred. Uh, and the life of those who want to love is like that. They just want to help and they want to live by each other's happiness and not by each other's misery. So I want to be used to help uh, people be set free so we can mount up on eagles' wings. And regardless of what religion those men and women of love are, uh, the ones that only want good things for everyone, drawing the breaths that God gave them, those people are above the law and are under no condemnation, for they walk with the spirit of love uh, as a little child, and they commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, regardless of what they believe. For those who love are born of him and know him because he is love living large within each and every one of us who it will be come as a little child. And realize now that people of love don't want to hate and despise anyone, especially over religion, over faith, a faith and hope and love. It's insane to hate others because of faith. Uh, which supposedly began to help people instead of hurting them as this world has uh, brought it to its ugly evolution of a twisted God and gods within twisted people of dark age uh, religiosity that, praise God, is finally obsolete in this hour, as Hebrews 8 has declared. And know that in this world, there's really always has been room for everyone. And our good earth is rich and it can provide food and water for all those hungry and thirsting after equality. The way of life for all people can, can be free and it can be beautiful. 
instead of lives being cursed by the tyranny of dictatorships and loveless Putins of the world who has cut Russia a new one, making it the sphincter of the earth. And such causes only days of depression, days of oppression, and days of death mounting. And even though the road of hate has been most traveled, the wide way to hell has been paved with conditional love alone. Love that has been uh, never faithful, never dedicated, never uh, sold out, never patient, never kind, never long-suffering, never forgiving. And so love's path is now calling souls to the way of love by the name of love. And so in this world of exploding technology, ro robotic art art artificial intelligence, the lawless one's message of more artificial, of uh, uh, the YouTube channel, uh, he is now preparing masses of atheistic, unloving people to uh, embrace his mechanical likeness in a day soon to come. He is the sword swallower of Revelation 13, who would die by a sword, as Dr. David O.R. of Repentant Prepare the Way has called down fire in front of multitudes, revealing himself as the false Elijah of this age. So know, therefore, all people of the earth, listen hard. The Holy Spirit is coming forth in this hour to help us beat our sword into the sickle, to learn the way of war no more, to change our conditional love into unconditional love, so that might be accomplished. So hear that most regal eagle of the eon speak as the dove. And he says, mankind has lost his way. Greed has become the downfall of billions who don't really give a damn what happens to anyone else, since everything on earth exists only for their own twisted, off-centered values that have never been even loving or moral. Uh, people think they're loving people when all the love in their life is conditional, and they are willing to divorce anyone, spouse, uh, sister, brother, father, uncle, it doesn't matter, friend. Uh, even religion has brought forth much greater division than the Tower of Babel ever did, as believers and unbelievers from thousands of religions of mankind's intervention all have vainly claimed that they have exclusive truths uh, that will point them to the great beyond and blessedness beyond what is now. And all of this has been racing and climaxing to the place uh, where falsehoods will now become on growing resentments that have been growing as weeds. Religion has poisoned our souls, but the way of love can be free and it can be beautiful in life. But all blinders of hatred must now be removed as man's God-given unity that Christ spoke forth in the Garden of Gethsemane in, uh, in uh, John 17. It's time that people would embrace his treasure of love, his treasure of excellence forevermore. And so know, therefore, in this hour, it's time to stop and smell the rose of Sharon, that lily of the valley, that majesty of majesties who is shining his, his most blessed love over all of us. And know that the off-centered beliefs of our way off interpretations of God's truest truths have caused us much grief. Mankind has never been saved by believing shit. Uh, many are going to say, Lord, Lord, I believe. And he's going to say, sorry, you, you committed blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, the unforgivable sin of letting your love die out within you. For that love has been me. That is my perfect name. Uh, of the secret name of Christ of Mark 4, and every knee will bow unto love, every tongue will confess love, for he alone is our beloved, the blessed, and the adored. And so in this hour of grief, the most selfish kinds of greed have come through all throughout history, giving us nothing but desolate heritages, as Isaiah 49, 8 rightly spelled out. And it is my job as Elijah to reassign 
those uh, um, non-profitable uh, things. And rivers of blood have been shed in the name of man's misunderstood deity of one as the multiplicity of the singularity of his love has been misconstrued and coming forth in error, uh, an error that would even destroy all people who have not understood the truth. No more can we look through uh, glass darkly. We must shine as the stars as we let that dove of love sit upon our shoulder and whisper his sweet uh, everything of love into our ears. And so in this hour, it is time to open our eyes and sing the song of Kenny G. For religion has poisoned our hearts and it's time to know that our off-centered beliefs of our badly twisted understanding will now be corrected for all things are now being restored. And all the while, a great cry has falsely gone forth all over the circle of the earth. Over 2,000 years, uh, this cry has gone forth that anyone refusing to believe the gospel's truest truths are going to burn in hell evermore. And such assertions based on the twisted understandings have always been ones of total nonsense and total ignorance, thus saith Elijah, who will destroy all religion here on planet Earth, as it is foretold in Isaiah 28. No more shall man's vainest religions barricade the world with subtle hatred gone insane, for the answer to peace, love, and hope is Christ alone and our master of masters, uh, who is Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, Emmanuel, our God with us again soon. And so it's time to, he commands all of us to abandon every religion, refusing the dove of love, which is his dove of hope. And so in this hour, it's time to understand, let the wise shine as the sun. Uh, let all people understand that disguised racism in the name of religion's very worst ugliness has now finally been exposed to the blinding light of the glory of our son of righteousness, our son of love who is arising to destroy all gross darkness so all might grow uh, beautifully with his the rays of his most blessed blessedness uh, caressing our brows and our furthest branches and our roots all at the same time. And so he who is the firstborn of the dead, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ Almighty, it's time that we praise evermore he who is the prince of the kings of the earth. Uh, our majesty of lords and our lord of majesties. So exaltation unto he who loved us first and washed us clean from our sins within his own precious blood, slain before the foundation of the earth was he. And he is now to be magnified and thanked for making us kings and making us a royal priesthood, uh, angels in the flesh or demon wannabes. Uh, but it's time to look unto God our Father, even our everlasting Father, and to him be all glory and dominion everlastingly. No more shall mankind uh, be sidestepped into misery and bloodshed, no more over the ignorance of love alone. And for man has developed speed. We have developed holograms and atomic energy but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that brings abundance has left everyone lacking goodwill unto all men that has always caused inhumanity to become the biggest king of all. And nor is it hard to see that man's explosion of knowledge has made most people cynical over our cleverness, uh, which is hard and unkind. We think too much and feel far too little. Uh, more than machinery, we need 
humanity more than cleverness. We need kindness uh, and more, and we need gentleness to be as a flood of love that will sweep us into a new age of the lion and the lamb. For without those life-bringing qualities, life will always be violent and will always, will always be eternally lost with no hope of love in the sight for anyone that is hard-hearted. And so in this hour, it is time to turn over a new leaf. And in these last days of the end of the age of grace, in these days that have already seen now the fulfillment of the fullness of the time of the Gentiles, with the in invention of the computer and the internet, Mankind has now been brought much closer in some ways, uh, more than he ever has, as the earth has shrunk. This little blue dot has seemingly with technology become as a microscopic dot. Within a moment of a moment, we can hit a button and someone can receive it thousands of miles away within but a moment of a moment. And even now, the Lord says, my communication uh, with inspired of love is now being seen by multitudes as my voice readies itself to be heard all over earth's shrinking circle with much overflow of overload of the information of love being restored so all things can be adjusted and straightened out and the wise all over this earth shall now come to understand that by the very nature of things like YouTube mankind has now been prepared for the goodness of humanity to begin overflowing as millions of us all over this earth begin crying out for our universal brotherhood as Christ the Lord prayed for in Gethsemane for the unity of all people who will flow as love and all of them will come with me they are the wheat blessed are they accursed be the tares who will not come with even now my voice will reach millions of despairing men and women and little children all over the world who are living and existing without thriving, just surviving in a cruel system that makes people torture uh, and uh, imprison even innocent souls. Uh, so it's time that the greatest of all times has finally come forth by our Lord's whispering command. And so our Lord then says unto all people desiring hope, from our Prince of Peace, who, whom he alone is. He says, do not despair uh, any longer, for the misery that is upon the world has been from uh, obsolete, unloving religion, and a death sentence now hangs over it. For these are the days when God's word has opened again, Revelation of Daniel 12, 9, and now shall come the shattering of the power of the holy people as all people realize that all of our religion has been in vain. Furthermore, men all over the globe will somehow know that the former glory days of earth and mankind are numbered so the old world order may finally die the death that it is worthy of with the vultures uh, uh, circling over the rotting court corpse of uh, unprofitable government. One world church has come, the wor word of Chrislam, the word of God's unconditional love uh, and unconditional forgiveness for all people. This is the feared one world faith of love. And so it is time that all people must surrender unto our beloved who is calling us each by our very own name. And for this cause, God shall now allow the worst of our greed to also pass away, along with the bitterness of people who will fear the way of human progress. So praise the Lord, though, all ye former religious Pharisees, 
praise him evermore. For know that the most excellent news of that roaring lion of Zion is that the hatred of people will finally be able to pass away as evil dictators die hard by his wrath so that liberty of spirituality will never perish. So soldiers of the world, don't give yourself unto brutes, men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, uh, mindless people who tell you what to do, what to think, when to uh, report for a draft where you know you will surely die, tell you what to believe and what to feel. Uh, you have been made higher than the angels, and it is time that you should soar thereof by the hosts, nor should any good soldiers or bad ones ever be forced into any vain drills by selfish leaders cramming gar garbage down their throats as they go about uh, with their special operations instead of telling the simple truth that uh, he's decided to be an asshole at war. And so it's time to be, not be treated like cattle heading to the butcher shop anymore while people are being thoughtlessly used as cannon targets for incoming enemies. And it is time for the people of uh, faith to run. These are the days the vision was written plainly on the tablet. So all those hearing it read from the messenger of Canada from the north might run. And so in this hour, let the soldiers of love who are passionate and obedient unto the Lamb, let them arise in God's army and let them stop giving their lives to the control of evil uh, ministers who will not ever say a word about this uh, promise of Elijah restoring all things. For such sickened uh, souls of Malachi too are going to get the shit pie of Malachi 2 in their eye. Such souls are of death who are unnatural men, machine gun kind of people with machine gun kind of minds and heartless machine minds. We are not machines. We are not cattle. We are men and we have a love of humanity within our hearts to share with all of our other brothers of other mothers if we will only let the love flow from one unto the other just as computers can flow and transmit the blessing of love from one to another. So please like and share these videos as if your life depends upon it because it damn well does. And soldiers of the world, hear me now. Do not fight on the side of the slavery of religious world condemning everybody except those in the rah-rah club. It's time to pull the plug on the all religion. The great falling away has now been ordered of God, and the lawless one has been revealed, as Second Thessalonians has foretold. So these are the days of Elijah, the revealed Daniel, Shiloh, who holds the scepter of all kingdom age authority. And these are the days that the wise would shine as the stars, even the star of Bethlehem, who is our shining star of stars of the resplendence of love. And it is time that all of us need to fight only for freedom uh, and dwell on the fact that in the 17th chapter of Luke, it is written that the kingdom of God is within man, not within one man, not within a group of men, but within all loving people. All people who love are born of him and know him because he is the love living within us and living within you. And we, the people of love, we have the power to make this life free and beautiful. We have the power to make this life a wonderful adventure. And then in the name of loving democracy, let us all use that power of love and let us unite in love for all of us so that we have no more enemies upon the faiths, uh, faith of this face of this earth. Wow, I'm wixing my merds. So let us fight for a brand new world, a decent one that will give people a chance to work and give the youth a future with old age security. And by the promise of these things, uh, the brutes that have been risen uh, to 
power. They shall die within their gross darkness of their very worst lies, the lies that they could never fulfill, promises they could never keep. So let us fight to free the world from the slavery of unloving ways. Let us beat our sword into the sickle to learn the ways of war no more. Narrow is the way unto heaven paid by our unconditional love. Wide is the way to hell paved by our conditional love that has never been divine. And so let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead all people to happiness, as all those born of love will simply begin calling themselves children of love instead of Christians, instead of Islamics, instead of Buddhists and uh, Sheikhism and Jews. For love alone is greater than the sum of all religions, uh, like those religions, like those are now going the way of the dinosaur anyways. For I am Elijah and I do command it in the name of love.